Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a colorful and a glowing warp bubbles effect very easy in After Effects. First of all let's grab a roto brush tool and double click on your clip. Make sure to rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and go back to our main composition. Let's duplicate the clip two times. Now select very bottom one and delete roto brush effect on it. Select the middle clip and rename it to warp bubble. Let's apply Turbulent Displace effect on that layer. I will solo Warp Bubble layer so we can see the changes and an effect better. Note, do not copy my settings, because the clips are different and my values may not work for you. I just show you how to achieve that effect, and with the values, make sure to play around until you will be satisfied. I will bump up amount to around 270. Now I will decrease the size to around 10. Let's bump up complexity to around 2 or 3. And here I have a Gata Bubbles effect. And now let's animate them, make sure to hold alt on your keyboard and then click on evolution stopwatch icon to open expression here. Now we should type, time, star and 100. If we play back the video you will see that bubbles are animated and that looks so satisfying. Note, if you want faster or slower animation, simply change the value after a star. To slow animation down, write lower numbers, if you want faster animation, change to higher values, in my case 100 looks fine. So now let's apply 4 color gradient effect and then make sure to change blending mode to saturation. Now we can play around with these colors here, but first let's move all color positions near to the bubbles effect. Now click on each color and change the colors on your wish. Once you are happy, apply a glow effect, I will use a deep glow plugin, in case you don't have it, write me on Instagram a word, plugins, and then wait for my reply. That looks amazing and beautiful, let's unsolo that layer and then press P on your keyboard and move the position slightly up. Let's quickly check it now. Looks cool to me. In case you want to change the bubbles effect, feel free to go to turbulent effect and play around with the settings. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.